In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the divisibility rule for the number 13. And uh, this is what, how, what the rule looks like. Uh, to check if a number is divisible by 13, we do the following. We, we add four times the last digit, or the, the one in the ones place, to the rest of the number. And you repeat that until it, the number is small enough to recognize whether it's divisible by 13 or not. And if this uh, number at the end, you often usually go down to a two-digit number, is divisible by 13, then the original number is divisible by 13. So um, I thought it might be convenient to list the first several multiples first. So the, multiple, the first um, seven multiples of 13 are 13, 26, 39, 52, 65, 78, and 91. You can keep on going if you want. If we add uh, 13 to this, we get 104. That would be the next number. So the question is, are the following numbers divisible by 13? So 962 is the first example. So we uh, we take the, the number in the ones place, the 2, and we multiply by 4 and add it to 96. So 96 plus 4 times this digit here. So 2 times 4 is 8, so we're adding 8 to 96 to get 104. Remember I said the next number would be 104 in this list? Now if you didn't recognize that, you could take 104 and break it down to it's the 10 plus 4 times the ones digit, so 4 times 4. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16, 10 and 16 add to 26, and there's a more easily recognizable multiple of 13. Uh, 2 times 13 is 26. So since 26 is divisible by 13, then 962 is divisible by 13. So let's, the next example is uh, 5,707. So we would start with uh, 570, and we add to it uh, 4 times the 7 on the end here. Now 4 times 7 is 28. So 28 added to 570 is 598. Now it's probably too big to recognize that's a multiple of 13 or not. So now we would go with uh, 59 plus 4 times the 8, which is 32, we're adding to the 59. And if you add that together, 5 and 3, well 50 and 30 is 80 and 11 more makes 91, and that is the seventh multiple of 13. So if now, if you didn't remember that 91 was a multiple of 13, you could go down to taking the nine and add to it four times the one. And uh, so nine and four add to 13, so that's certainly a multiple of 13. So 13 is divisible by 13, so 5707 would be divisible by 13. Now you can certainly stop here if you recognize that 91 is a, uh, a multiple of 13, but if you don't, you can do this last step as well. Uh, two more examples on the second page here, and again, here's my uh, first several multiples of, uh, of 13. So 3338 is the, is the first example, so we take 333 and add to it uh, 4 times the 8 here. So 4 times 8 is 32, so we add 333 and 32, we get 365 the number of days in a year. So that's probably a bit too big to realize that's a multiple of 13 or not. So we would next take 36 and add to it 5 times 4, 4 times the 5 digit, which is 20. So 36 and 20 add to 56. And looking at our list here, see 56 is not a multiple of 13. It's in between the 52 and 65. So since 56 isn't divisible by 13, then 3338 3, is not divisible by 13. And I want to do one more larger example. So here's 586,014. Uh, so we would take 58601, so 58,601, and add to it uh, four times the ones digit, which is 16. So um, one in 16 adds to 17. So this is going to be 58,617 now. So it's still probably too big to realize it's the, a multiple of 13 or not. So we would take the 5861, 5861, and add to it seven times, uh, four times the seven, which is 28. So 5861 plus 28, uh, see uh, 60 and 20 is 80, and one and eight on the end adds to nine. So we've got 5889. So probably still too big to know it's divisible with 13. So next we would take the 588 and add to it uh, four times the nine, which is 36. So if we add those, so 580 and 30, uh, is 610, and then we have another 14 here, the 8 and 6 is 14, so it adds to 624. 
So still a bit too big probably. So next we would go 62 plus 4 times the 4 in the end. So we're adding 16 to 62, uh, which is 78. And if you look at the multiples up here, see that's the sixth multiple of 13. So since 78 is divisible by 13, then 586,014 is also divisible by 13, which is what we were trying to find. So uh, you, you take the, uh, one, the number in the ones digit, multiply it by 4 and add it to the rest of the digits and keep going down to you see that the final number is a multiple of 13 or not to determine whether the original number is divisible by 13 or not. And that's the end of the tutorial.